Hello my fellow Uyen and welcome to another episode of Day of the Uyen TV. I'm Tim, this is the weekly recap, let's roll. This week's games are Soul Power by Gabriel Koenig, Skiing Fred by Creepy Chunk and Speak Here by Kaleido Games. Let's start this episode with our game of the week, Soul Power. When I first saw Soul Power in the Uyen store I didn't think much of it. The thumbnail is very unspectacular and the screenshots are rather boring. Good thing that I try out almost every game because otherwise I might have missed this highlight. In Soul Power you are playing a ghost who just passed over into the next dimension. You meet other ghosts who sometimes give you tips on what to do but most of the times they are just insane. As surprising as a crazy ghost might sound, the insanity is actually pretty funny. Some ghosts wonder what happened to their cats or their loved ones and others are trying to haunt people, while some others are trying to figure out how they got here. What really sucked me into Soul Power were the music and the artwork. The whole atmosphere is really spooky and makes you think what existing as a ghost would really be. On the other hand, despite the spookiness there's a lot of fun involved and you don't notice how time goes by when you play Soul Power. I was really surprised by the depth and creativity behind Soul Power despite its mediocre first impression in the Discover Store. I highly recommend that you check out Soul Power, no matter if you're a kid or almost a ghost yourself. Skiing Fred is a little bit less philosophical than Soul Power, which doesn't mean you won't enjoy playing it. The concept is the usual endless runner concept just on a snowboard and with a few twists that make your life harder. There are various deadly traps, lightnings, murderous penguins and much much more to discover. I enjoyed playing Skiing Fred despite the fact that he's not really skiing but snowboarding. It's the perfect game for a quick gaming session and if you enjoy these types of games, Skiing Fred will bring you lots of fun. The last game for this week is Be Here and one of the first shoot em ups that I enjoy playing on the Uya. I criticized Tesla Punk for not using the entire screen and being uncreative. Well, here comes Be Here to show you how it's done. You play as a bee that is out to revenge the slaughtering of its hive by the evil wasps. These despicable creatures have hired every other little creature from the animal kingdom you can think of. Cockroaches, yep, they have it. Scorpions and frogs, sir, yes, sir. A gigantic mantis, of course. When I first played Beakir I was a bit confused by the controls and a few mechanics such as when you fly against the top of a hollow tree, you crash. However, after a few minutes of playing I felt that the controls were very easy and the gameplay was quite addictive. What I particularly liked in Beakir was that it wasn't just a shoot em up. In some parts you could decide between blasting your way through or just evading respectively escaping from your enemies. In my book, Beakir does everything right for a shoot em up game and totally deserves your time. Well, that is already the end of this episode. Thank you for watching and if you liked this video, press the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you next week. Bye!